exactly. There you go. Just today, someone posted something uh, about that on 11-11 at 11-11 a.m., plus or minus 30 seconds, um, this monument lines up perfectly with the North Pole, I believe. And I think you said something similar about the Georgia Guidestones as well. Yeah, yeah. It's so similar the, to that? Yeah, the Georgia Guidestones have a little hole in them. And when you look through the hole, the Polaris is there, the North Star. So it lines up all the time. Anything, By the way, anything that lines up with Polaris always lines up with Polaris because Polaris doesn't move, right? But, you know, they, they want us to think, that, you know, the heliocentric model says basically that we are corkscrewing through space, you know, spinning uh, at a thousand miles an hour, uh, orbiting the sun at 66,000 miles an hour, chasing the sun at a half a million miles per hour, while that entire system moves sideways at one to two million miles per hour. All of those directions, all of that movement, but the stars never change. Go out tonight, look at the stars at whatever time, make a little chart, and then go out next year, same night, same time, the stars will be in the exact same position, even though we've corked through, through space um, in in four different directions, traveling billions of miles, but nothing ever changes. <laughs> the sky is a perfect clock. The, every single thing about our solar system from eclipses to planetary orbits prove it's a lie in itself. It's all just lies upon lies. And the way I describe the world is it's a giant lake, a giant lake. Large bodies of water at rest lay flat. Scientifically, tests will be provably flat. We can prove that. All of the islands, continents are surrounded by water, but all of the water is surrounded by higher land. Antarctica is the highest land on Earth. Antarctica is not a continent at the bottom of a spinning ball. Antarctica is all of the land that surrounds our known world. And nobody is allowed to explore this outer space. It's off limits to everybody until the year 2041, and by then they'll kick it down the road another 60 years. If, you could get, if it happened, the divergence would prove the point, right? Well, it, there's so many times, you know, there, and these emergency landings happen all the time. All the time. Right. And here's 16 that were documented in this book, greatest book ever. It's in the app under books and settings. I highly recommend you buy it. You can get it for free, the PDF, but it ain't the same as having a coffee table book. It's a it's a great book to lay on the table. If someone picks it up, they become a flat earther. They're like, damn, I went over to Joe's house for friggin' a beer, and now I'm a flat earther. Right? I assume his name is Joe. I'm just saying, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying that. I'm just throwing a random name out there. I wasn't even talking about you. Um, <laughs> And so 16 of them, they make zero sense on a globe and they make absolute perfect sense on a flat earth. Documented. Hmm. NASA, the liars, not a space yeah. agency, um, are in charge of radar, they're in charge of GPS, they're in charge of flight route, all flight routes. They control all the means of, not only of information, but dispersal of that information. Yeah. Or so it's like the NASA thing, once you get over that. <laughs> In the FAA documentation manuals, they talked about the modeling of airplanes that they use a flat, non-rotating plane. We found many documents, CIA documents, NASA documents, and they say all of their modeling is done over a flat, non-rotating plane. Plus, airplanes fly over an earth plane, airplane, not air globe. Yeah. 
16 documented emergency landings that are absurd on a ball and make perfect sense on a flat earth. They make perfect sense. This book is free on the internet. You can look it up, get the PDF, or I recommend going to lulu.com. It's an awesome coffee table book. 16 emergency landings proving flat earth. So uh, we're talking to uh, Dave Weiss, uh, Flat Earth Dave, and he is uh, a tapping to the dark side. Uh, uh, Must be a, l- a lot more flat earthers now because of the corona a crisis. People have the time now to actually look into it and and see what's going on and 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 we're pumping out a lot of uh, good information. Like the, here's the best flat earth proof right behind me. This is what you have to believe in if you believe in the ball. You have to believe that you're spinning faster than the speed of sound, that you're orbiting 66,000 miles an hour, which you can't even fathom that speed, while you're chasing the sun at a half a million miles an hour, while the whole system is moving sideways at (laughs) 1.2 miles an hour, okay? And and all of this is happening, okay? And, uh, And how it started to happen is ridiculous, but while all of that is happening, this happens, okay? (laughs) <laughs> oh, dude, you got some great images. I love it. <laughs> he came I mean, I prepared. Have, this is the earth. This is, you know, water at re- large bodies of water at rest lay flat. You know, if I stamp my foot on the ground, it would send ripples across that thing. We're spinning faster than sound, curving and turning. Absolutely not. It's nonsense. It's, it, it's once you can see it, once you understand what the globe model is, the best way to become a flat earther or a true earther is by trying to understand what the ball model is. I mean, and the ball model starts with the Big Bang. Once there was nothing, it exploded, became everything. That coalesced, created a planet, also created a sun, 
and then lightning struck and created an amoeba that had sex with another amoeba, made a fish that grew legs, that climbed out of the water, found another mutant fish, had sex, had a monkey, and that monkey had a retarded baby. It's a human. I mean, you have to believe, <laughs> you have to believe all of that and all of those crazy friggin' motions are going on, and that's where you live. Making all of these parts, sending them to space and testing them there, okay? Now, you think about this. You got astronauts floating around putting this stuff together. Um, this would be the most filmed event of all time because Mission Control would need to see what's going on. And there's not a single photo or video of it being built. Not one. Okay? National security? National security. How about this? Why don't we see any land when we're looking down at the ocean from the space station? Why? Well, because you're over top of ocean. Okay. Well, don't you think they could be fooling us with this picture? Okay, I give you this. I give you this. Wait, that, watch the picture. I, I know that, watch I know, the picture. I know watch that they the airbrushed some it's stuff. It's not up. airbrushed. This is us in our front yard and a solar panel, and we tricked you, showing you how easy we have zero budget. They have sixty-five million dollars a day, and I tricked you. Um, I mean, what about what about this? NASA says you know these are new planets. Okay. Do, do you, would you believe, why would you believe that? Why wouldn't you? Because they're frying pans. They're the bottom of frying pans. Again, <laughs> zero budget, zero budget. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the analogy you're making is, is nonsense. But as long as you bring it up, here are four moons. And before the hand picks up the moon, tell me, is it sphere or not a sphere? Is that a sphere? Quick. Yeah, okay. Yeah, well, it I looks like a sphere, is. but it's actually a half a cup. How about this one? Is this one a sphere? It, it, you're showing us half a sphere then on like, all of like them. Balls. It looks like a sphere, but it's not either. It's flat. Okay. Oh. <laughs> right. So what I'm saying is you don't know. Illusion. What about this one? Is this Illusion. one a sphere? Is this one a sphere? Well, I'm going to guess everything is yeah. not. No, that's a cup. What I'm saying is first, even if they were all spheres, it doesn't dictate the shape of, of, of the no, earth. And I, I've been lying to you this entire time. I'm on the space station, okay? <laughs> Prove me wrong. I'm on the space station, and I, right? And, and I'm on, and I'm in ho Hollywood right now too. Yeah, so but that's like... a that's a painting. That's not even a real picture. <laughs> You're okay? floating, Dave. Look, look here. <laughs> the Earth is a globe. Here's the proof. I got this cartoon over here, right? The Earth is a globe. Oh man. Oh okay? man. Yeah, um, and this is my house. I'm in my house. Oh, okay. <laughs> it, it, it's because it's because it's ridiculous. Check this out. This is the fucking wait. Hubble. Is this? It, wait, Hubble. I might be tricking you. I might. Is it the Hubble or is it a can of fucking beans and a soda can wrapped in tin foil? Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I can't really see that. But uh, right. Well, it is the Hubble. It okay. Looks like
Thank you.